You're gonna turn this into this. What? It's gonna shoot. Oh! Yeah! I just wanna take a moment to acknowledge how much my girls love doing this. This is Big Murphy, we call him. 250 gallons of gas producing machinery. So we'll, we won't belabor this, but look, we got about 15 gallons of mostly cow poo and a little bit of horse poo. And all the rest of it's just water from the beaver pond. And we're gonna get it in there uh, without making a huge mess. Oh. Really? That's, that, that's gonna be it's gonna great. Oh, it's a big chunk. We need a stick. We have a stick. To plunge it through. Yep. Oh, it's spilling down the side, Dad. What? Dad! Which oh, side? Oh, this side. Okay. This is like, oh, boy. Oh, dear. Ah! Oh, gross! Oh. Let's just take a minute here. Let's just think about what we've done. Yeah, you plunge. Don't get it on my hand, Dad. I would never. Yeah. Do you think he's got a poop anytime soon? Uh. <laughs> it's time to feed Big Murph the biodigester. We're looking for a, a bucket of the good stuff. So, Big Murph's been a little neglected. He's producing gas, but not as much as I would have liked, and I think I just didn't feed him enough. So we're gonna feed him right now. And thanks to you boys, he should have lots of delicious food. That's right, you can help too. We don't discriminate. Sorry, no, no grain in there. This is not the kind of snack bucket you think it is. Okay, girls, we need some nice fresh stuff. Oh, that's a fresh one right there, actually. That looks good. Horse poop is so proper, you know what I mean? Like, I love the term road apples. They're just scrumptious little, Clean things. Okay, we're on a roll. She's eating the grass. Turning her grass into poop. And you will not believe what we're gonna turn this poop into. It's gonna actually blow your mind. We built this simple machine to turn this a bucket of road apples into some usable biogas that we can actually compress and replace propane. I wonder if we should use like a drill and a mixer to kind of mix that all up. <laughs> That's uh, I thought this would work. How did that happen? I think I was going too fast. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh, this is therapeutic. Oh, I'm serious. This is working great. It's just like a bread mixer, hey? Oh. <laughs> you broke it. What the? Should we turn it to Lowe's? What the heck? <laughs> now how are you gonna dump that? <laughs> Ooh, it's splash. Uh, who, put a, who put that water in the bottom? That's already a better consistency though, hey? Okay, now we need to make this like a real slurry. Mm. I could just wait like a couple hours and it would probably just turn into a slurry on its own. But who wants to wait? You gonna lick the batter, the beaters after? <laughs> yeah. So this is gonna start forcing some gas out. Oh, you're spilling, you're spilling. What? Where? Far side. Oh. What the? This isn't as liquidy as I imagined. The problem with our funnel is the hole is not big enough. Oh, there we go. It's out of my pocket. It's not nice. Anyway, it's just road apple. Now it looks like I had an actual accident. <laughs> so in Big Murph 2.0, I'm gonna actually put some thought into like a better funnel system. Cause I don't think it's the three inch pipe that's holding this up. That might be part of it. It's just the, the two inch or inch and a half kind of, oh, look at that, yuck. Oh, it looks like a turd coming out. 
That might be all we can kind of fit in there for now. So that'll just, we'll water that down and make some compost tea out of that. Okay, and I'll rinse this off. Let's look. This is the beauty. This stuff isn't toxic chemicals or anything. Look. You can just you can get this all over yourself. It doesn't matter. It's just like some cow poo. See? Clean. Just like new. Oh, it's full. Yeah, it's full, but I think it's actually just kind of stuck in the fill tube a little bit. There you go. So I think it's all kind of out of the fill tube now. So yeah, it is very full. And that's how I want it. Okay, it's full of food now. We do have an inner tube full of gas. We'll come back this evening and we'll see what's in here. I know what's in here, but we'll see what it can do. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, light that. I don't really know how to do this. You light it and open the valve. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay, open it a little more. Okay, give it a little pressure on the tank up there. Wow. Rose! Look at how clean that is! It's crazy. It kind of smells like methane. No, what? You can smell it? Maybe it's the bucket down below. I don't think you can smell it. Look at this. It's wild. It's really wild. And it's just coming out of the tank. Me and you made that. Wow. We make great. <laughs> we make great fire together. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put this in tanks, but we're also gonna put it. I think we're gonna make something explode with this. That's what we should do next. Alrighty. Wow. Rose. Is it happening? I think so. Okay. Big Murph. <gasps> Did you see that? I can see the bubble is just about ready. Now what? Well, we'll just wait. Big Murph was supposed to bubble non-stop, but I think we just didn't take care of him like we ought to have. You didn't take care of him. We needed well. to feed him more, Ooh. and we did not. But Big Merv did work. He was just a bit slow. And we have great future plans for Big Merv. But we still have plans right now. We are going to do something great. That inner tube, not bursting at the seams, but it is full of methane. So we're going to do something special with that right away. Okay, we have the kit. We have everything we need. We got the big tube. Are you ready? He said to wear safety glasses and earmuffs. <laughs> Good, yeah. I think you might need them. I balanced the equation of methane and oxygen. And I think I need, by volume, three quarters oxygen. Three quarters? Or two thirds. Yeah, I think it's about three quarters. I'll probably do about two thirds though. Where? You can see the line of it. Oh, too. there it is. Okay, is that about a third? Um, yeah, probably. Okay, there we go. Okay, that's enough Murph gas. Okay, now I need the oxygen. So I'm cheating a little bit, don't tell anyone, but I needed oxygen <laughs> to make this better. <gasps> You're just gonna do that? Yeah. Well, that looks like a bad idea. Ooh. Now, I'm going to try something tricky. That should be an explosive mixture. We need to ignite it. Take out a fuse, yeah. coil it right up until the, and then just leave like two inches. That's the safety part. Now, tape it to the outside. And the hope is that big coil will burn through. Yeah, that do a nice coil, nice tight coil. Yeah, tape that. And then have that wick sticking up. That's right. Okay. Oh man, we're ready. Uh, oh, let's go a long ways away. What? No, it's right here. In the driveway, Dad. Yeah, what if it breaks your windows? I don't know, Dad. Here, you let it. No way. You let it. Okay, you ready? It's going. 
Is it going? Yeah, it's smoking. It's going pretty slow. We made them pretty slow. Who made those wicks anyways? Must be a rookie. Wait, this takes an hour. Oh, that was it. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it burned through. Yeah, your box is melting. Ah! Uh, that looks yeah. kind of cool. Look at the smoke inside. You're yelling. Gone! It, is it gonna do it again? Oh man! No, it's done. It smells like firecrackers. Okay. This is what this is what happened. It just burnt through at the top, and then like the, the gases didn't ignite. So is the methane at the bottom? The, did you see what it did? Yeah, it blew up. It, just in that tiny little hole, it just like launched it somehow. Um, but it didn't boom. It wasn't a very explosive mix. We needed to shake it better or something. But the wick was really slow. And do you notice how it didn't even need, uh, didn't even need that big coil? Let's do something similar. How much mark do you want? Let's just do... Half? Half. Oxygen. Okay. Get it like a half a wick. Just tape that on and just, just leave like half an inch sticking up now. And like curled out. This part you want peeled back. You're gonna shake it up. What? It's gonna shake. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my... That blew up! Frick. That blew up! That's that's what we're going for. Okay. I need the shovel. And we're gonna go up into the Horse pen. Too depressed. Methane. Go on, keep going. <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> keep going. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. I think the reason that one, last one was so successful was because I shook it up. Get a shovel. And meet me in the horse pen. This is one of the five magical energy sources for the off-grid homestead. And we are gonna turn this into this. this it didn't work. This will not work. Anymore. You broke it. <laughs> We didn't mix it up good enough, huh? <sighs> That's weird. The gas didn't escape. <laughs> okay, so we saw Niall Red do this and we thought we also have to do this. You ready? Yeah. Okay. We got water and we got soap. This is now soapy water. Oh. Yes. There we go. Ready? I don't know what I'm doing. Take a big scoop of just the bubbles, not the water. Oh, is this gonna hurt me? No. You're lying. No, I promise. Oh, I saw the flame cool. come up. Okay, we need yeah. a big handful of this. Yeah, okay. Okay, just a second. I'm scoop deep, bros. Scoop deep. Right. Okay, burn it. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> okay, just like that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's still burning. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. Whoa. Well, that's a cool one. Man, that burnt like two feet high. Oh. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah, go! Fire! Ah. Yeah. Show me. No, oh, you blew my eyebrows off. No, just come here. No. Come here, let me see it. You didn't no. do your let eyebrows. Let me see it. It was your eyelashes. Look at Dad blew it up in my Don't face. Move. Why would you do that? Look at this. <laughs> You pay a lot of money to have eyelashes done. <laughs> yeah. Those grow back. Right? No. The whole methane thing is 
this I know this video is like a disaster because I tried to film this over like three months and then it didn't totally work the way I wanted it to and now we're just having fun and it's clear we need a part two to actually show you like the real thing the next video we're gonna actually get this thing cranking at production levels we're gonna compress it in tanks and we're gonna make useful amounts of methane which is natural gas right it's the same thing It'll, you can use it for whatever you want. So we'll see you on that one. <laughs>